Welcome to STEM Spark Science at Home. Today's activity is pipette painting. All you need for this activity is wax paper cut into any size you would like, a plate or tray, a dropper tool like a pipette, baster, or straw, and watercolor paint or food coloring with water to make your own. Today we are going to use science to help us create a work of art on wax paper. Let's begin by taking a closer look at the wax paper. Wax paper actually has wax inside and on top of it. Can you think of other things that are made from wax? Here are some examples. Candles and crayons. How do you think wax paper might be different than regular drawing paper? Let's compare them. I have wax paper here on the left and drawing paper here on the right. How are they the same? Both types of paper are white in color. They are also both made of tiny fibers. When we look with the magnifying glass, we can see the fibers crisscrossing and making tiny holes. Do the fibers look the same or different? There are less fibers in the wax paper. They are more loosely woven, creating bigger holes. The drawing paper has fibers that are tightly woven together, creating smaller holes. Now that we have investigated the wax paper, let's see what happens when we add paint. Instead of using brushes for the paint, we are going to use a science tool called a pipette. Pipettes help us measure and carry liquids. They are really fun to use. Watch and see. A pipette has a bottom and a top. The top part is where you hold. It has a balloon shape and you can squeeze it like this. The bottom has a small hole at the end of a tube. That's where the liquid goes in and out. To use a pipette, place it in the liquid so it is touching the bottom of the cup. Then squeeze the top and let go. See how it filled up with paint? Now we are ready to release the paint onto the wax paper. What do you think will happen when we drop the watercolor paint onto the wax paper? Make a hypothesis. Let's try it out. Wow, what do you notice about the watercolor paint? Is it sinking into the paper or sitting on top of it? It's sitting on top in a round drop. Let's try adding a few more to see if the same thing happens again. What do you see happening? The wax paper repels the watercolor paint. That means it can't sink in and instead pushes it away. Let's see what happens when we drop the paint onto the regular paper. Do you think it will sit on top like it did with the wax paper or will it sink in? Let's find out. At first it looked like there was a round bubble on top like we see on the wax paper. But if you look closely at the edges, you can see the paint is sinking into the drawing paper and getting absorbed. Why do you think the wax paper repels the watercolor paint? Wax and water are not able to stick together, but paper and water are able to stick together. The wax covers and fills the holes in the paper, 
stopping the paint from going through and pushing it away. Now that we have observed this chemical reaction between the wax paper and the watercolor paint, let's see what kind of pictures we can create. Pipette painting is a really fun way for young children to practice fine motor skills. You can also do a lot of creative expression while making your art. It's okay if you do not have a pipette. There are a lot of different dropper tools that you can use. Here are some other ones that I have to try. Pipette painting is full of fun. Try these activities at home and see what you can discover. Happy exploring!